Welcome back to Species in News. In this episode, we bring you remarkable discoveries and conservation updates from across India and the world. Let's begin from the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Researchers have discovered a new species of sea slug, Gonio brancus rufo maculatus, from the coral reefs of South Andaman. This vibrantly colored nudie branch plays a key role in the reef ecosystem by grazing on sponges and keeping algae growth in check. Its discovery highlights the region's underexplored marine biodiversity. Now moving on to Arunachal Pradesh. A rare sighting of the endangered Chinese pangolin was recently reported from the Pake Tiger Reserve. This nocturnal scale-covered mammal is highly threatened due to poaching for its scales and meat. It is listed as critically endangered by the IUCN and is also protected under Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act 19 from Arunachal, let's head west to Rajasthan. In a welcome development, the population of the Great Indian Bustard in the Desert National Park has shown a marginal increase. One of the heaviest flying birds, the Great Indian Bustard, is critically endangered, with its numbers dwindling due to habitat loss and power line collisions. Conservation efforts, including captive breeding and habitat restoration, are ongoing for their further safeguards. Moving to Assam, a recent study revealed that otters in the Kaziranga National Park are increasingly using artificial fish ponds for foraging. While this shows their adaptability, it also brings them into conflict with local fishermen. Smooth-coated otters are listed as vulnerable by the IOCN and are crucial indicators of wetland health. Now a quick international update. In Costa Rica, the glass frog, known for its transparent underbelly, has shown signs of population recovery in some regions. Once severely threatened by chytrate fungus, focused conservation and habitat protection have helped stabilize some populations. These frogs are considered indicators of pristine forest streams. Back in India, Maharashtra has launched a project to track the Indian pangolin using GPS telemetry in the Tadoba landscape. This initiative aims to collect baseline data on the elusive species movements and behavior, aiding conservation planning. The Indian pangolin is listed as endangered by IUCN and is frequently targeted by wildlife traffickers. And now, let's go underwater. The olive ridley mass nesting has begun along Odisha's Rishikulia coast. Thousands of female turtles have arrived to lay eggs under the cover of night. While the event is an annual natural spectacle, rising sea levels and plastic pollution continue to threaten hatchling survival. Finally, let's head to Tamil Nadu. For the first time, a flamingo festival was celebrated at the Polikat Lake Bird Sanctuary. The event aimed to promote ecotourism and raise awareness about the importance of wetland conservation. Greater and lesser flamingos both flock to this region during winter, making it a vital migratory stopover. That's all in this week's episode of Species in News. Revise these updates well, they are important for UPSC prelims, especially in environment and biodiversity. See you next time with more news from the wild. Until then, keep learning and stay connected to the nature.